Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Rule Breakers is here. Our next promo, Rule Breakers, is starting today in FIFA 23. And there's a lot that could be going on in the game today. With the leaks that we have right now, the potential SBCs and content that we could see, and some new packs that have been added to the code that could really bring tons of supply to the market today and potentially drop prices further. That's going to be one of the main talking points that we discuss in today's video and all of the different kind of scenarios that could happen on the market today. It's going to be a pretty crazy promo Friday. It always is when new cards are coming out into packs. We do have some leaks. I want to take a look at those. I want to take a look at the current state of the market. Talk about road to the knockouts. Could those be good buys today, depending on how the promo Friday goes? And of course, there's a lot of people waiting to buy teams for weekend league. We'll talk about that situation in today's video as well. If you're excited for rule breakers today, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's quickly go through the leaks and the cards that we are expecting to see today. I do not believe these stats are confirmed. Just to put that out there at the beginning, these are all the leaked cards that we have right now. I believe there are 10, so we would expect to see a couple more because we would at least hope to have 11 packs, 11 cards in packs today. But there's some big names in here and some massive cards dropping today. Cristiano Ronaldo is headlining the team. Messi last week, Ronaldo this week. We've seen that card. Zaha we're excited about. Fakir is leaked to be coming. PK I think is going to be a really meta center back if he gets the right pace boost. Uh, Chicha, Hernandez is added to come in this team as well, but here's a massive one. Franck Ribéry, 90 rated center forward. Now we'll see what these stats look like because again, the whole Rule Breakers promo as it has been in the past couple of years, is just based around giving cards some pretty, like, crazy, right? They're breaking the rules of what their card normally is. So Holland got plus 25 pace last year, but they decreased his shooting by four, right? So they decrease a stat in one area and crazy increase it another stat in another area. So I'm really interested to see how a lot of these cards look today, and that's some of the most fun with the Rule Breakers promo. But Ribery is a big name. That could be a really insane card. Five-star, five-star French player at this stage of the year. I think Ribéry and Ronaldo are by far going to be the most expensive promo cards in the team today for sure. Moving on, Edin Dzeko, that could be a pretty good card uh, with the lengthy meta as well. Calvin Phillips getting a Rule Breakers card, that could be a nice one. Jesus Navas was leaked. So you got actually two La Liga defenders in here with Jesus Navas and PK. So watch out for those La Liga links today. Last leak that we have right now is... Herrera. So we have two Mexican players, both in the MLS between Hernandez, Chicha, and uh, Herrera. So a lot of those MLS guys have gone up in price, specifically Landon Donovan uh, as a hero card, giving those links. But those are all the leaked cards that we have right now. So looking at this promo team, it looks pretty good, right? It looks decent. Comparing to it to last year, last year we had Holland, Dembele. Rule Breakers team last year was like, team one at least, it was good. It wasn't absolutely insane, but it just brought out some fun new cards. And I believe last year, a lot of these guys were decently priced day one because of the packs that we had. And it seems like that might be a similar scenario this year as it was last year. Here's the packs that I'm talking about, right? These were added to the code yesterday, and this is the first one that scares me big time. A rare players pack plus a 50K pack. Mind you, we have not even seen a 50K pack in the store yet this year. The biggest pack we have seen in the store is a 45K pack, I believe, besides some of these random weird ones that they've had in here, right? Like the road to knockout, whatever. But the biggest one that we have seen is a 45,000 coin pack. Um, and that was, I think, last week with road to the knockouts. Now, if this pack drops today, the scary part about it is, yes, it's a 50K pack, biggest pack we've seen this far. But inside of it, it includes another gold players pack. So everybody who opens a 50K pack on the game today, if this drops, would also get a gold players pack inside of that. Same thing with the premium gold players pack, which is a 25K pack, I believe. Inside of that, you get an extra gold pack, which isn't anything crazy, but this is the one that could bring a ton of supply to the market if it is dropped today. Now, it's not guaranteed, of course. It's just added to the code. We've seen a lot of other crazy packs added to the code, but since it was added to the code yesterday, it almost makes sense that it would be dropping today. So that's got me thinking a little bit about some of these cards that could potentially drop a lot just because of the supply. That's what I'm worried about. I mean, remember what we saw on Wednesday when we had, or Tuesday when we had UEFA marquee matchups and what happened to a lot of these cards 
on the market, they just continued to drop lower and the lower rated cards got packed a ton. Like Anthony earlier on this week was still 37,000 coins. Today, he sits on the market at 26K. Cards like this that are gonna be in packs are going to get hit with a lot more supply. And especially as we move further and further on in this game, the gold cards, and we've been talking about this for the past couple of weeks, this is kind of just the whole the process of how this game works and how the market works, the lower tier, lower rated gold cards are gonna get packed a lot today and so many people are gonna be continuing to upgrade from those cards and those teams. Those are the cards you're gonna have to be watching because they're gonna drop off a lot. Now, other cards like Nkunku, Neymar, Kunde, your, your higher tier meta cards, yes, there's a lot of demand for people to buy these cards for the weekend league teams because yes, you have seen their prices drop considerably, in the past few days. Now, prices rose up a little bit yesterday, right? You saw this De Young at Rivals Rewards last night was 66,000 coins, and right now he sits at 80. Okay, I do believe that there will be a little bit more panic selling today on Friday because, again, if this this word of this pack is going to be spread around, people are talking about it already, um, there's going to be a little bit of panic selling on the gold card market, I believe, on anything that's going to be in packs today. I think you'll see a bit of panic just because, again, people know that this pack would bring big time supply to the market and it would really start to drop a lot of these prices. So that's what I'd be the most worried about today is if that pack drops. Now, if it doesn't, it's probably gonna be a, a week like last week. You'll still see some supply hit the market today regardless of what packs are in the store. People are gonna open FIFA points to try to pack Ronaldo, try to pack Ribery, try to pack these new promo cards. That's just how it goes. So I would expect to see supply regardless, but if it's those 50K rare players plus packs that give out the extra pack inside, it's going to be a lot more supply. And, you know, what we've seen the last couple of weeks as well is like on your most popular players like Vinny, like Neymar, like Mbappe or Cristiano Ronaldo, you've seen these guys' prices jump up very quickly after the content drop because everybody kind of waits to see what content is. Then they go and they buy their team. While there is a lot of demand today, I think that it might be worth waiting to see what packs are dropped in the store and what SBC is dropped with content, what player SBC is dropped, because that could crash the market further if those crazy packs are out. And if we get a really good value SBC last year, on the first Friday of Rule Breakers, we had the Nkunku player pick. You guys might remember the Nkunku. One of them had you know, the higher shooting stat. One of them had the higher passing stat. I think a lot of people went for the passing stat. Um, Nkunku, that was a pretty big SBC, and the market did have some movements because people wanted to get this guy in their team. Now, also, you see one of the screenshots here from when I tweeted last year was that the Rule Breakers, out of a 50K pack, you see fit Rare Players pack, they dropped 50K packs for this promo last year, although it was two weeks later later than what it is right now. 5.1% from a 50K. You know, that's semi-decent odds. But what'll be interesting to see is how that compares to today's promo team when it is dropped. I remember specifically last year on the promo drop that there were some of these cards on the lower tier since those packs were so good, right? 50K packs, that's a lot of supply regardless. This Onyeka card, so many people were buying him super cheap in the first 15, 20 minutes of when he got released. His price shot up in value for like the next hour or so after that. And then he went lower later into the night. I would watch out for some of those first hour flips today on cards as well. If they drop uh, some of those big boy packs, your most rare cards, like, you know, we talked about the Ronaldo, we talked about the Ribery, maybe a Zaha or a Fakir. If they drop those crazy packs in the store, the supply is going to flood onto the market in the first 20 minutes or so. Some cards might get really, really low and then potentially rebound higher in ne the next hour or two after that. So I would watch those market fluctuations today as well. Some of that happened last week with the road to the knockouts. Now, again, for the rest of the market, right? Let's talk about other cards. We'll talk about like road to the knockouts. What, what's gonna happen with road to the knockouts today? Because these guys just continue to drop in price. Their prices are so low, but they're going out of packs today. And yes, these are live cards. So people think, Nate, should I be investing in these today? Well, here's what I think. These cards are not rare. Road to the knockouts in past years have been pretty rare, but we've seen every single day this week when they've dropped pack supply. Think about how much Lukas Paqueta and some of these cards have dropped. You know, a guy like Aubameyang is a lot more rare than some of the other ones, but like Thomas Muller is 30,000 coins, which in the grand scheme of things, you might think, Nate, this guy's gonna get a plus two, right? So he's gonna get upgraded. Isn't this surely a buy? In my opinion, we don't have any more Champions League games until over a week from now. The Champions League does not continue this next week. 
besides Arsenal playing a game. So Odegaard really is the only card that I would think about watching. And I would rather wait on a card like that until maybe even later this next week. I'm a little skeptical to invest in these cards today um, just because I feel like there's more opportunity to trade elsewhere on the market. And, you know, and especially in an investing context, right? I am not looking at investing in these cards today and holding them for a week and a half or two weeks or three weeks until they get their upgrade, just because there's so much content that could be coming out in that time frame. Think about the packs that we have in the code as well. We we had a new base icon 86 max overall pack that was added to the code. We've got a hero upgrade that was dropped last year during rule breakers. They dropped the first hero upgrade and it crashed the market during the second week of rule breakers last year. They dropped the base icon upgrade and 50 50k preview packs and it killed the market. I'm sure some of you guys remember that. It was absolutely devastation on the market last year in early November when they did that. So yeah, could it be a little bit early to start thinking about some of those things that happened in early November last year? Maybe, but we have multiple icon packs in the code now. We have that hero upgrade pack. I'm not looking at these cards as a good opportunity to buy and hold. Some of them might go up later tonight on Friday with people going back out and buying their weekend league teams. But you know, with the way the market has been this past week as well, if I'm buying anything, it's a quick flip. I'm not sinking my coins into an investment other than SBC fodder. And this is where I want to talk investing for a second, because I do think there is a really good potential investment with SBC fodder this weekend. It doesn't have to be today. With all those packs that we have added to the code, like I said, the hero, the base icon, two different ones and adding the code now for that. And then just great potential player SBCs that could be coming out with the Rule Breakers promo as well. I like SBC fodder because this is the time of the year that SBC fodder goes up. And if you take a look at a few of these prices, fodder has been going down as the market has been going down this week too. I mean, Oblock was 33,000 coins. Yes, you consider him a little bit of a meta card, but probably also fodder at this stage down to 27K. He's down a little bit. A card that's been fodder this whole time, you know, Tony Cruz, right? As an 88 rated card, he was all the way up at 27,000 coins. You know, he was even like in um, 24 to 25K range and is now 20,000 coins. With more packs applied today, some of this fodder could get pretty cheap and it might end up being a fantastic buy and hold for the next week or two because I really do think that with the way prices continue to react on this game year over year. Let's take a look at last year's Kaylor Navas 88 rated card. When did he spike last year? In the middle of October, he spiked to 22,000 coins. He kind of went down. So maybe we have a, a big supply this weekend and cards could go down a little further. Who knows? But then look what happens in November. And in the late stages of October, this guy explodes, right? And we have 88s that in the middle of November with like Black Friday reached 33,000 coins. So I'm not expecting a huge crash on fodder necessarily because EA is continuing to put out really good content, really good SBCs. Um, and, you know, I just don't see a huge crash coming with this stuff. I do think that those 50K packs could impact it. So I think this weekend is just a time where buying fodder to stock it in your club is a solid idea because we're getting towards that time of the year where those base icon SBCs, the hero SBCs, that stuff makes fodder go up the most. And I think that stuff is on uh, the horizon of content to come. So that's kind of what I'd be watching for. If you want to try to make an investment, get on bids, right? I can't stress enough that everybody tries to snipe cards. Bidding is so overpowered when it comes to especially cards like that. The second hour after content, think about it, right? Everybody opens packs right away at 6 p.m., 6 to 6.30 p.m. An hour after that is when all those cards that people packed and listed up for open bid are starting to expire. That's when you want to be bidding is an hour after content because those cards are expiring. Great time to get deals for the next couple of hours as people continue to release cards. So make sure, make sure you're watching out for that sort of stuff. Now, other content we should see today with Rule Breakers. Like I mentioned, an SBC, I would assume we get a Rule Breakers player SBC, kind of that player pick uh, that we saw last year with Nkunku. We saw that a couple times, I believe. I forget the other player that they released, um, but there was another player pick SBC that they dropped during Rule Breakers. So if that sort of kind of content idea comes back, that'd be nice because that was that was cool, right? Because you could choose, hey, if I wanted a passing boost or a shooting boost on that Nkunku card. And, you know, I, I think back to some of the more crazy promo Fridays that we have had in the past couple years of FIFA. When they drop really, really good player SBCs, some of the Friday content just gets centered around that player. I think of like Flashback Benzema. I think of Winter Wildcard Zaha, where so many cards that were nice links to those players 
if there's an insane SPC today, whoever it could be, if that player is very well priced, has really good stats and is just super popular and a lot of people go and do it, the links to that card will go up. Now, last week we had the Road to the Knockouts Kulusevsky that was released on Promo Friday. I did the SBC, but I know a lot of guys didn't because they're like, hmm, overpriced, not an insane card. That's an example of a card that would not probably move link investments too much. But again, just watch for today and see who is leaked. I would imagine there's going to be leaks today on Friday of who our SBC and objective players would be. As of right now, of course, Goosens is going to be ending. We don't have any objective leaks. I would imagine almost certainly that we would have an objective player dropped today on the game as well. I think, I feel like I remember something last year about like during Rule Breakers, there was some milestone SBC for like a 50K pack or something. So we'll check objectives today. Hopefully EA is nice to us and gives us a nice grindable content there. So, you know, that's kind of how I feel like the, the market's gonna go. Last thing I would say too, is just to kind of finish the conversation on team buying and stuff. If prices are just gonna get hammered with supply today and you might be like, Nate, so when do I really need to buy those cards for my team if there's going to be a lot of supply? I still think that you can buy maybe like, you know, an hour or so after content. You just have to watch and see how big the price drop offs are right away. If player prices, like, let's say you want to get Kunde for your team, Kunde is 67K. Last night before Rivals Rewards, he was 58, right? Let's say today in a Friday, Kunde strolls into 6 p.m. He's like 63K. Let's say there's a little bit of panic selling, but not a whole lot. We'll, we'll have to see how that goes today. But let's say he's like 65K rolling into content today. If Kunde, after like 20 minutes and everybody's opening those insane 50K packs today, if he drops to like... 45,000 coins or like let's say 50k flat that's a huge drop off this is still a very very meta very popular card and of course you do have a um pk today that could be a replacement for a guy like kunde but also you know people might need to buy a kunde to, to put next to pk and their team and link them together so you know that would be a very interesting scenario today but if you see like i'm talking like 25 or 30 percent drops that's kind of like the magic number if you see 20 to 25 sometimes 30 percent drops on a lot of these cards that for me is like a you know it sets an alarm off it's like okay that's a crazy drop. Surely there's a lot of demand for some of these meta players that if they drop off that much, there should be a rebound happening. So I'm really curious to see what packs they put in the store today. Um, if they don't put those 50K packs in the store, I think, again, you could see those players like Vinny Jr. You could see those players like Neymar, who last night I was like, man, Neymar is 430,000 coins. Like there's no way he's not going to be like 450, 460K in the next couple of days. Neymar, I think, went up to like 460 after Rivals Rewards, and now he's at like 430 again. Like if Neymar is 400K today, buy it for your team, man. Use him in Weekend League, have fun. Uh, and then my, my biggest advice to you would be just as you are playing Weekend League throughout this weekend, just be careful with the cards that you're holding on to. Don't hold on to them for too long because their prices, as we fall into the late night tonight, Friday, this is a common trend with promo cards as well. We saw it with Road to the Knockouts last week. Just watch out for some of these promo cards and the rest of the market probably dropping off a bit in the late night hours tonight. Like I remember Aubameyang last week. I bought him. I bought Foden last week on Friday night, early Saturday morning. People wake up on Saturday. They like to buy cards and try them out. So we will be watching that, of course. That's a normal kind of fluctuation that you see. Just So just be careful. Monitor the prices. You know, if you're going to go try a card out, just use them for a couple of games um, and then probably move them onwards on a Friday, especially players that get dropped in packs on a promo Friday are usually their most expensive on that Friday. And then they continue to drop throughout the rest of the week. So it's going to be a crazy market day. It really is because depending on what packs EA put in the store, that's going to set the tone. We're going to be reacting to it on the market, trying to make coins live as always today on Twitch around the content drop. Make sure you check in link down below in the description. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe EA will put out some sort of like nice pack SBC today too. Upgrade packs on Fridays like never happened, but I'd like some sort of opportunity to pack a Rule Breakers card today. That would be fun. So we'll see what EA Sports brings for content today but it's going to be a very very interesting day on the market that is for sure so if you're excited for it hit the thumbs up uh, comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new it has been nate the vote account and i'll catch you guys later peace